Good evening. Uh, long time no see. I was waiting for uh, the Tier 7 technology to be unlocked to early access here in Satisfactory before I continued on. Uh, and that's happened, so I've started making some plans. Uh, I already went into the space elevator and unlocked Tier 7. And I went in here and I learned all the milestones for Tier 7. Uh, which includes uh, aluminum and nuclear power and the uh, recently unlocked monorail trains. Uh, now, doing all that required a bunch of computers, so I had to run the game for about eight hours to get everything up and running, uh, which serves to highlight a flaw, which is that my base sprawling as it is, is terrible. Uh, it's a total rat's nest of uh, conveyor belts and everything kind of doubles back on itself and I put little cheats in to make things work and nothing makes sense and when I have to optimize something I have to like dig around and figure out what's causing the problem and it's a huge mess. So, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, here's the map of what I've explored. I can't remember if I had max up, maps unlocked the last time I streamed. Uh, but here's my base. Let's see, can you see my cursor? Hold on a second. Yeah, cursor's being captured. Okay, so... Here is my base. Here's the oil. I tried exploring up around here to um, the swamp area because it seems like there's a lot of good nodes there. But um, there is also a lot of toxic gas. It doesn't seem like a good place to work until, uh, until there's a way to deal with the toxic gas on a more permanent basis. Uh, I thought about exploring more of this central area, but there doesn't seem to be a ton of research, res, resource nodes up there, other than aluminum bauxite. So, uh, that was out. I guess where I'm going with this is my base is just too inefficient. So my thinking is now that I've unlocked aluminum, I can make trains. Uh, and I guess I forgot to say, I started setting up a very primitive aluminum production process. Uh, I co-opted the, uh, the quartz production over here. Uh, because you need uh, quartz as part of the bauxite refining process. Uh, and so I've got a bunch of aluminum it let me build some high-speed belts. But I'm thinking that I could tear down this whole thing and start over. But it would be really hard to do. And if I made a mistake, then it would be hard to build back up quickly. So, what I've done instead... If we head over this way... Is I'm just going to leave my base running here. Let it stock up on stuff. And over here, I've built a monorail. Uh, and the monorail I've stocked with things. And here's what my plan is. I've built a monorail track that goes up and around the whole mountain area over to this desert. And this desert seems to have, because it's another starting area, a lot of really decent nodes. Like, it's supposed to be hard to start there because there's very little biomass, but I'm not using biomass for anything at this point, so there's really no need for me to worry about that. So, I've loaded up two train cars full of supplies, lots of cement, and I'm going to drive over there and I'm going to start setting up a new base.
train is quite loud. I'll talk when we're done. passing right by these islands. There's apparently four good oil nodes right on these islands. So I'm thinking... Once I have this base set up, oh shoot, I swamped the locomotive. I can't drive it anymore. Well, I'll have to dismantle it and set up the station in a more appropriate spot. I hadn't noticed it was sinking that much. Uh, but I want to set up this area as my new base. As far as I, my early scouting is concerned, on the other side of that lake, there's a few pure nodes I can set up. And over here, it looks like we've got a decently flat area to uh, experiment with. So, I've already claimed this wreck. Or didn't I? I thought I had. Uh, I guess I didn't. Um, I I wish there was a way to tear those down once you claim them. But I'm gonna start building here. So first things first, I gotta set up some better power lines. The uh, train stations can provide power. So if I use one of these new, I need line connectors. Do you even let me access the cars? Okay, I know what's wrong. I'm experiencing a weird bug. Uh, this is all new for Tier 7. I'm experiencing a weird bug where after I get out of the train, it's not like re-enabling my player controls unless I save and reload. So one moment, folks. Uh, first things first, I think what I'm going to do is set up a very large central hub where I will actually move the hub from the other base to this one eventually. Uh, a central area where I can access all my stuff and I'll set up the uh, containers ahead of time so that it's perfect. Uh, and then I'll start uh, setting up the mining facilities and um, build some huge warehouses for all the production. Because if I build stuff inside self-contained uh, ecosystems, whatever you want to call it, uh, then it won't... Um, hopefully will have less impact on the GPU and CPU. Oh, this is going to be hard to get all this stuff out. Okay, so I got control back. But how... You're not going to let me access the train at all until... 
Maybe I can pull these out with another locomotive. Should have the supplies for another locomotive. Submerged. All right. What if I put in a freight car and I put a locomotive here? Once again, I need to save and reload to get my player controls back. I put the, uh, the station right there because I didn't have a lot of cable and I wanted to get power to that radar station uh, because I wanted to map the area while I was prepping at my other base. So one now that, that probably the radar has finished scanning, I can dismantle that, and then I can uh, move the base, move the train station to a more reasonable position. Uh, but first things first, uh, the more things I get off these train cars, the easier they're going to be to manipulate. So, first thing I need is some connectors, which are here. We will, will, I will move this base eventually, but for now I'm just going to set up a power pole and leave it here. Well, that's weird. You can't build one on top of the base here? Well, that's okay. We'll just set one here. So the nice thing about these more advanced power poles, although they are quite expensive, is that you can connect ten things instead of uh, four. So assuming that you're Connecting one from the input and one from the output, the old ones you can connect two, the new ones you can connect eight. It's a big upgrade. Yep, the radio tower is done scanning, so we'll tear you down. Probably that wouldn't all fit in my inventory, so. Uh. Okay, Alright. Uh, but, very first thing we can do is. Power that wreck. I'm going to drop this rubber, get that hard drive, alright, now we can dismantle this. So first thing I want to do is set up a bunch of concrete. These new one uh, meter tall or one unit tall foundations are bugged well. Every time I save and reload I've got to remap it to my toolbar. But Here's a nice flat area. 
I think this is where I shall set up the new base. Once I kill. Those monsters. Okay, I'm gonna drop some concrete. Pick up this slug. So here is where I'm gonna start building. Uh, right on top of this rock. <laughs> so the base will be raised a little, but not that bad. By my math, I need a 15 by 15 square. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. And now I should be able to pick up one of it. And now I should be able to pick this up. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, a little off on that last one.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have to run back and get some more concrete soon. for the train. <laughs> Doubted myself there for a moment. More slugs. Wow, it's a lot further than I thought it was to the lake here. Hmm. Oh well. Wait. I guess I was running in the wrong direction. Here we are. Okay. So it's not that far. I was just turned around. What I'm going to do for now is set up a beacon over here because I don't want to get keep getting lost. Anyway. Three quarters done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
Okay, so nice big flat area to start in. And we'll start with a beacon. We'll make it base yellow. More of an orange, huh? Okay, and we've got our base location. So we'll have the mines over here. We'll, this whole area will be our base. And uh, hopefully we won't have to go much further than the oil down here. Um, so, next thing I want to build is some industrial storage. Uh, I'm going to need a lot more pipes. That's okay. So I want inputs to be on the outside. I'll leave a hole on each end, each middle, to get out. I want, I goof that. I want the inputs on the outside. So that the outputs will be on the inside and I can, uh, I can, uh, I can do that little trick where you have the output spit out the Spit out the uh, spit out what you're producing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. For now, I'm going to do five, 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 five. That'll give me 40 and leave me some room in the corners to expand if I need to. So, back to the train. Which is this way. And we are need some more steel pipes. Uh, I've got too many pr beacons. I'm going to have to tear some of them down soon. Uh, the other nice advantage about... I won't do it on stream because I think it'll be boring. But uh, the other nice advantage of setting up a base entirely on the other side of the continent here uh, is that there's a whole new set of hard drives that I haven't found yet. And I'll have to start hunting for those pretty soon. Alright, those are regular steel rods. Here we go. Okay. Well, I'm here. I've got plates and rods, so I can set up a workbench in the center here. Uh, 
the craft bench and the workshop will do for now until I can get the hub over here. Okay. Back to storage containers. Outputs. making sure I'm doing these in a pattern. Three, four, five. Okay. And this is the center, right? Three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. I'm gonna have to go get some more reinforced beams soon. Just making sure. Two. Three. Four. Five. To the east for more parts. I need to remember to run a power line over here on the way back. Let's put a power pull at the top of that mesa. Nice strong power pull at a high point. I keep pulling off it if I need to. What is that in the water? I don't know what you are. Wonder if that's hostile. Probably, huh? It appears I did not pack enough beams for all my storage containers. I'll have to go back and get some. 
Um, but you get the idea. This is kind of where I'm starting from. So when I next I join you guys, hopefully this place will be built up a lot more. This was just a short, sweet little segment to show you what I'm making progress. So my next goal is to get this secondary base set up. And I'd really like, if I can keep it organized enough, to have it on. Right now, uh, the primary base only goes up to computers and heavy, heavy modular frames. Everything past that, supercomputers, uh, turbo engines, etc., I'm building by hand. So I'd really like to get this place automated to the point where it's building turbo motors and uh, supercomputers and all that automatically in a neat organized fashion. I've got some ideas, but we'll see how they work out. So until next time, I'll see ya.